channel. So today I'm going to do a fun clothing haul slash beauty slash accessory haul. I've been shopping a ton recently and I thought that it would be kind of cool to share some of the things that I found with you guys. Give you some inspo on how to maybe put your outfits together for spring. I'm so inspired by this warm weather that I just needed to update my closet. So if you are interested to see what I found, keep on watching. Alright, so this top I actually got at PB. I, from the minute that I saw it, I felt instantly in love with it. It's pretty like a light material, it's very silky, it's white, so it looks really crisp and professional. And I love that it has this little gathering at the end, that kind of, um, where you can tie it. So it kind of cinches your waist a little bit and gives you like a really cute body shape. So the next top that I actually picked up is from Tilly's. It is a Gypsies and Mundas. Oh, that's so cute. Gypsies and Mundas top. Actually, it's a dress. So, well, you could probably wear it as both, but I wanted to wear it as a dress. So it's got this really pretty like keyhole detail in the back. So you show a little bit of skin, which is so nice for summer when everyone's back is nice and tan. And then if you flip it around, it's just got this really wide scoop neck so I would imagine it would hang really nicely off the shoulder I'd probably wear it with a tank if you were more conservative or even that bralette that I just showed you would be super cute with this so you can see it's like a little shorter in the front and then like a little longer in the back I just feel like it's such a pretty I don't know it's like a versatile shirt or dress I just feel like it's very springy <laughs> so fun and I just imagine total total clubbing shirt this is definitely a really fun almost modern going out shirt it's crop top but it has this little peak of like leather coming out it's got like a little leather accent piece it's got a really cute gold zipper going up the back for detail and I imagine myself wearing it with really cute like high-rise tight leggings um, I found a couple pairs actually from BB that look so cute with this this one had almost like a French detail in the front and they looked really, really, really cute together. So this is like a really fun clubbing shirt. So the next top is also from BB. There's a few actually from there. I had a lot of fun when I was shopping in that store and I thought that I had found really, really cute tops. So I just bought a couple. This one is a almost blush beige silk material. It's got a really nice like low V. So it's definitely sexy. Again, like more club wear for sure, more going out a girls night or a hot date with your hubby. And I would definitely pair it with a really pretty lacy bralette. I have been seeing these gorgeous bralettes everywhere and I just feel like this would accent, the bralette would accent the shirt really, really, really nicely. You could pair this with, I thought, a cute pair of shorts or again, just like a really nice, thick, high-end pair of leggings with a nice detail because you definitely would want to tuck it in because it does have the like, I don't know what to call onesie. it, this little onesie, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it has the snaps, so you definitely want to like tuck it in. So yeah, and it has a little bit of detail um, around the back as well where the material changes just a little bit. But I just think it's overall so luxurious and beautiful. So another BB shirt. This one is pretty much just all lace. It's got really cute cap sleeves on the end, which I love. It just makes everyone's shoulders look so itty bitty. And I love that the neck comes up nice and high, so it gives that really pretty lace detail all the way up at the neck. And if, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it does have like a shape, almost like a corset would, um, underneath the lace. So it just gives a really pretty look. And my favorite part about it is this little like, keyhole right in the back. I just feel like it's so Victorian and so pretty. Again, you would probably wear this with high-waisted shorts, like really nice glossy um, high-waisted shorts, or even again like a nice pair of black pants with cute heels. You, I just feel like this top is so slimming. It makes everybody look so teeny tiny, and it would look really cute on everyone, but it's definitely a crop top, so you want to wear like high-waisted pants with it. Totally inspired by Sam Oscarall. She 
is a fellow YouTuber. I'm obsessed with her. She is beautiful. She actually reminds me a ton of Jessie James Decker. She had this outfit on. I don't know what event she was going to, but she looked so, so cute. And I don't usually do this, but the minute that I saw the outfit, I'm like, okay, ordering. Thank you, Sam. So I'm obsessed. Thank you. I got this from Nordstrom. It came in like three days, which was super quick. I loved it. It's this nice, I don't even know how you would describe it. It's almost like a sweater material, but ultra stretchy. Again, tons of spandex. And it just gets a little bit tighter, um, the, the weaving and the material at the bottom of it. So you've got this nice kind of vertical stripe going down, and then it's just this solid block. It is a crop top, and I will show you the shorts that she had on with this particular top. They, um, I think this one came as a set, but she paired it with a pair of floral shorts that looked so cute. And I'm going to show those next.
this new age infused fashion inspiration that they have found lately. So I love Abercrombie. For Valentine's Day, I believe, I actually was kind of cruising around the mall and I saw this jacket. And then a little bit later, my boyfriend actually picked it up for me. So I've been really in love with this slight, fringy, I don't know, I guess it's like a rock and roll kind of velvet beige jacket. I feel like you can just paint much with it. You can pair it with so many things, like all the shorts I showed you, or just cute leggings with like a rocker tee. I just feel like this is an amazing way to kind of transition to a lighter, more casual jacket and hoodie look. Um, I'll flip it around. It has these really cute like zippers and pockets in the front. It zips down here, and it also even has this cute little zip at the bottom that kind of looks like a zipper too. I just love it. It's got little details going down the back, these really cute buttons. All around, I just love this jacket. I feel like it's just so good. So the first pair of shoes I actually picked up, they are just a basic black staple. I love these kind of heels because I feel like, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I always call these shoes the cute toe shoes because they make everyone's toes look like really pushed together and cute. I can't stand when I put a pair of shoes on and my toes look crazy. It just ruins the whole outfit. I won't wear them. So these are so cute because they've got this nice strap that kind of keeps it dressy, the shiny finish to the leather. It has this really cute buckle around the ankle. I can literally see you wearing this with everything from ripped jeans to black dress pants to a skirt to shorts. I feel like this is the most versatile shoe that I have ever found. Now, so they are so extremely cheap. I think I literally got them for $25. That's insane. I don't ever find anything at Macy's for $25, not even my bronzer. So this stuff is, I mean, these shoes are so cute and very affordable. I believe they are Madden Girl, which is like, I don't know, maybe the lower version of Steve Madden or something to that extent, like a junior version of it. But very cute, very affordable. So the next item that I actually found was also at Macy's. They are the INC International Concept brand. They are these beautiful suede, I don't know, are these wedges? heels they're strappy I don't know whatever they are they're so cute they have these really beautiful gold accents on the side and just a really cute wood detailing at the bottom I thought that these were actually perfect for the floral shorts and that green sweater but they're really summery and really cute and they are so comfortable from the minute that I tried them on I could not believe how comfortable these heels are like you don't you're not gonna bust your butt <laughs> so yeah they're so cute I, and I actually got these I don't even know how much they were. They were originally $115. Macy's had a sale yesterday, and I got them for, I don't know, maybe $60? I don't know. Very, very, very cheap, though. I will link that in the drop-down box. But they're awesome. Jessica Simpson heel. Like, honestly, come on. Tell me how cute these are. They're so cute. They have all of these. I feel like they're just like rock and roll. I feel like they're badass in them. Like, so cute. They got these like a little fringe detail on these little, I don't know, what do you call these? Whatever it is, it looks so cute. The little fringe hanging. Then this little strappy with the gold grommets detail going around. It's a really nice heel. I don't know, I just feel like this chunky heel is also really sturdy, so I felt like they were super comfortable. These are just going to be my rock and roll shoes for the year. I feel like they're transitional between spring, summer, and fall. You could wear them all the time and just kind of jazz up your outfit with black shorts or even ripped shorts. I don't know. I just feel like these are so versatile, and I'm in love with them. And the best part, they were literally $20. Can you even believe it? They were originally $159 the first time I looked at them. And then I went back and I got them for $20. That's a pretty good find. I'm pretty happy about it. So my next stop, obviously when you're at the mall, 
It's a complete mortal sin if you don't go into Sephora. So I will show you what I got. This actually is not even from Sephora. They're from Ulta, but I don't know what I did with my Ulta bag, so they're going to be in this haul. These are the Skin Iceland Glacial Cleansing Cloth for Eyes. I actually use these for my whole entire face. I um, recently had a little bit of a medical procedure done on my face, and I was not able to use my Clarisonic because I needed to be very gentle. So I used these, and I loved how nicely they took off all of my makeup. I didn't break out from them, which was surprising because my skin is very sensitive. And I just loved how clean, squeaky clean my face felt. So I'd go in with these with my soy face cleanser wash from Fresh. So I thought that they were like the perfect combination. Next, I got this amazing glow kit from Anastasia. I've heard so much hype about this stuff, I couldn't even wait to get my hands on it. So there were two colors. I don't know what the name of the other one was, but I noticed that the highlighters were a little bit more on the gold and champagne side. Now this is kind of a personal product for me. My kit is already stocked full of different highlighters for different skin tones. So this was just kind of a product I wanted to buy for myself. And I personally like really pinky highlighters. I just feel like it kind of takes some of the solidness out of my skin. So I picked up, this one's called Gleam. And I mean like, are you kidding? How cute are they? They're all pink toned. There's like a little bit of a champagne, a little bit of one that has a little bit more gold to it. I just love them. The next goodie that I picked up was the Dior Maximizer. I am obsessed with this product. I have used it forever. I sleep in it every single night and I use it underneath my mascara. I, it is like a total beauty secret of mine. It's amazing. This has panthenol, pro vitamin B5, tons of lash strengtheners and conditioners inside the product. So not only does it give you a beautiful, thicker, longer lash, but it actually helps condition them while you're sleeping if you do actually decide to wear it at night. It's just amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. I also picked up my Lancome mascara. I use Hypnose Drama. I've literally, I worked for Lancome probably six years ago and I loved it. I fell in love with it then. They come out with like the Grandiose and the Butterfly and the Dolly and whatever all those names are. But this by far, the original is my favorite. I love the S shaped brush because I feel like even though my lashes are really naturally long, this helps to really thicken them up and it literally just places the perfect amount of product on my eyelashes. And I love that I can just keep packing it on and it never looks clumpy. So this is definitely a staple of mine as well. Next, I got these Marc Jacobs, I don't even know what they're called, <coughs> Twinkle Pops. So I really like cream eyeshadow sticks a ton. I love using them on myself every single day. Sometimes I use them on my clients too. But I love them for myself because they're quick and easy. I've got two kids, so I don't have a lot of time to be messing around. And these are awesome. I got the shade Three Shakes, which was like a darker bronze, if I can get it out. It's beautiful. And I also got this one, which is called Volver. Why are the names not on here? Mark Jacobs, put your names on the package because I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, this one is called... Paula, yeah. And this one's just like a lighter gold. So these, I've, I've just tried them maybe once or twice. I don't have an actual review to give right now, but they are definitely a part of my haul. And I picked them up because I love the colors and I love bronzy gold eyeshadows. So I got those. The next product from Sephora is this beautiful spring Dior Rosy Glow Blush. How pretty is that? It looks a little wild, like I might be smoking something when you look at the color, but honestly, it's beautiful. It's just meant to be like a really nice pop of color on your cheeks. It gives that youthful glow. So I just kind of wanted something fresh and revived for a spring, so I thought, yeah, why not? I would go ahead and pick up the Rosie Glow from Dior. Last, I got, and these two are not from Sephora, they're actually from Nordstrom. So I ordered, I've heard so many bloggers and bloggers and people talking about this new lash and the new brow. The new brow is actually a gift with purchase. So this is just a basic lash growth serum that helps condition and strengthen so that they actually reach their full potential without breaking and snapping off. So I have been keeping a little bit of a diary going on how the progress is. I've used it for maybe like a week um, and I already actually do see results. So I will keep you guys updated on how this is going. After two weeks, and this is just the sample, I've literally seen immense growth with this product. I cannot even believe it. My eyebrows are so much thicker than they used to be. All of the gaps that I actually had in here, 
it is on. It's unbelievable. So I highly, highly suggest the new brow. Jury's still out on this, but I will definitely keep you updated. So that was my haul. Obviously I did some damage and I don't want you to judge me. I don't normally shop this much, but I just was inspired. The weather's getting warm. I was ready for spring. I hope you guys enjoyed the things that I found and please tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you guys actually pick up any of the products that I showed in this video because I would love to see you guys in them. If you're interested, you can subscribe down below and kind of keep in the loop all the new videos that are coming. Or you can follow me on all of my social media links, which will be linked in the drop down bar below. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye! Everything we have to face it Without a sound, we take a step